Hey guys, it's Kelly and Daniel with fitnessblender.com and today we have a 10 minute abs workout for you. So each one of these is going to be about 50 seconds a piece and with about a 10 second break in between to get you ready for that next exercise. So it's gonna be a really, really quick transition. Now we haven't included a warm up, so make sure you get one of those in before you get started with this. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, we have 10 different exercises to go through, 50 seconds apiece, with a very, very quick 10 second break in between to get ready for the next one. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Uh, Kelly won the coin toss, and she will be doing the easier version. I am going to be doing the harder version, so watch whichever one you want for whichever version you want to do. Let's go ahead and get going. Uh, first one is going to be a Russian twist. So sit on that tailbone, legs out in front of you, uh, hands straight in front of that chest. Rotate only from that torso. Don't pull your hands from in front of that chest. So just nice slow rotation. The further you lean back, the more you're going to feel it in those abs. If you want the really, really hard version, bring those feet up off the ground. But make sure you're keeping that back nice and flat. Don't let your back round over. So on the flip side, you can keep your feet grounded to make it much easier. You can also bring your arms in, bend your elbows, and keep them in front of your chest to make it easier as well. And I see a lot of people just go, to, go crazy fast with this exercise. There's no real advantage to doing that. If you focus on full range of motion, you're going to get more out of the exercise. Actually, there's an advantage to moving more slowly to make sure you get a full range of motion, or at least the muscles have to work that full range of motion. And remember, because we're doing this for so long, feel free to switch between versions. Try to stick with the hardest one you can for as long as you can. All right, lay down flat on your back for this next one. Heels, uh, excuse me, soles of your feet pressed together. This is a butterfly crunch. Hands back behind your head, keep those elbows out of your field of vision and crunch up towards those feet. If you want to, you can actually kind of lift those feet up off the ground a little bit as well. Just keep those lungs open, don't hold your breath. This isn't a huge range of motion. You're not trying to come up onto that tailbone. You're just trying to get those shoulder blades and upper back off the ground. A good breathing pattern is blowing out as you come up. So take an in, a breath in as you come down and then breathe out as you come back up. And if you want to get the most out of this, never rest on the ground. You just hover on the ground before you crunch back up. So your muscles are engaged the whole time. You can also make this harder by putting those hands straight out over your head, but we don't have time for that anymore. Right, toe touch <laughs> so, crunches. Toe touch crunches are next. Too late. <laughs> Too late. Lay flat on your back, legs straight up above your head, hands up above those shoulders, crunching up towards those toes. Try to keep those shoulders hovering just a smidge off the ground every single time. Try and get as much range of motion as you can. You should probably be feeling those abs pretty well at this point because three exercises all hitting those abs. Yeah. One right after the other. They're awake. You get a little bit of a break after this one. So keep pushing through it. If you need to, you can bend those knees. Just crunch up from there like Kelly's doing. But if you can, try to keep those legs locked out nice and straight and crunch up. Keep those lungs open. Again, if you want a breathing pattern, exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. It's more important that you just don't hold your breath. And let it relax. Flip over onto your stomach. We're doing an alternating cross crunch. So think of a crisscross crunch, but in reverse. So hands behind your head. You're going to kind of come up and to the side, crunch it up, down, and then same thing off to the other side. Just alternate back and forth. If you want to make it a little bit more difficult, get those feet hovering off the ground and make sure you don't come all the way back down in contact with that chest. Keeping everything hovering just a little bit. You can use the same breathing pattern here. You're exhaling when you're working the hardest. So inhale on the way down, and then exhale as you're squeezing back up. And this is another one that's really important to use. Slow, smooth, controlled motions. You don't want to be jerking. It's one of those things that actually is less effective, and you can set yourself up for injury. Especially if you're new to an exercise, Always start it slowly. All right, back over onto your back. It's a short little break. Now we're back to torturing those abdominal muscles. Boy, 
Okay. Hands out beside those hips, not underneath them. You're going to kick those feet back and forth. Start out nice and slow, get used to that range of motion. And then as you get used to it, you can always speed it up. So a lot of times when people do flutter kicks, they want to stick their hands underneath their butt. And what that does is it props their hips, keeps them from rotating, and lets their abdominal muscles cheat. So your abdominal muscles don't have to keep those hips locked in. So if you can, keep those hands out away from you as much as you can. If you need to, you can also bend at the knees and you'll get the same, same idea with just less resistance. And you can always slow it down as much as you need to too. This might be a little uncomfortable if you're tight in the hamstrings, so just do, do what you need to. Just don't push to the point of the bad pain. And let that relax. All right, we're doing a crisscross crunch next. So this one, don't let that knee come in past that hip joint. So hands behind your head, you're gonna crunch across, switch what your knees on top, crunch across. Now again, if those abs are getting really, really tired on you, switch to the slightly easier version, or give yourself a few second break, and then come right back to it. Try to keep going as long as you can with as clean a form as you can. Woo, man. Yeah. <laughs> My abs are burning. <sighs> Try to keep that lower back down on that ground. As those abs start, ooh, man, that burns. Yeah. <laughs> As those abs start ooh. giving out on you, that lower back's going to start trying to lift up off the ground. <sighs> Try to keep that crunch in. <sighs> Let it relax. Ooh, Plotty's okay. double toe taps are the hard okay, version. Okay, okay. All right, Here we go. bring both those knees straight above that hip. Lock that knee to 90 degree angle, hands on the ground. Lower back flat against that mat. Slowly lower those feet out towards the ground. Barely tap them. Right back up again, stopping directly above that hip joint with that knee. Nice and slow back out. Back up. If you need to let them rest, just hug them into your chest for just a second. But try to keep them going for as long as you can. For an easier version, just drop down one foot at a time. Slow and controlled, keeping that other knee locked in right over the hip joint. And you can even start from here and just lift up one at a time, hit that position, and then slowly lower. So choose your difficulty level. And like Daniel said, you can move back and forth as you need to. Just make sure that you're always challenging yourself. All right, side hip raises are next. So start with it, whichever side you want to. You're going to be up on that side, elbow directly underneath that shoulder, knees for the easier version, feet stacked for the harder version. Just bring those hips up off the ground as high as you can. Back down, a little bit of a hover, but don't completely touch. It's kind of hard to see because my shorts are a little baggy. But you always want to try to keep a little bit of a hover. Try to make sure your shoulders are pressed down and away from your neck. Don't let them... Scrunch up there. The key with this one is as you lift that hip, you want to feel like you're trying to pull that shoulder you're leaning on down towards that hip. So you're kind of trying to tuck that shoulder down underneath you a little bit. <clears throat> Under 10 seconds left. Wow. Well, I made it all the way through on the hardest version on that side, so that means I have to do yeah. the hardest version all the way through on the other side. Make sure you're matching it up. All right, stacked feet for the hardest version, stacked knees for the easier version. Let's take your time, pull that shoulder underneath you as you shove that hip up as high as you possibly can. Make sure those shoulders are stacked above that arm, perpendicular to the ground. You don't want to let your shoulders start rolling over forward or your hips. Keeping your whole body perpendicular to the ground. Keep those lungs open. Almost done. If I can read that right. <laughs> oh, and let it relax. All right, one nice. exercise left. One more. Jackknife crunch. This one starts in a full 
extended position. Press the lower back to the ground. Feet and arms come up at the same time, and then do kind of like a toe touch crunch at the top. Back out, hover those arms and feet, right back up again. Or do the easier version like Kelly with, be, uh, with knees bent. Try to keep that lower back flat against that mat as much as you can, for as long as you can. And then once it starts to lift up, move to the easier version and press that lower back down again. Ooh, a little bit of a break. That burns. <laughs> and that's totally fine. It's always better to take a break than it is to kind of limp along with poor form. Just jump right back in. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> that was nice and quick, but also nice and torturous. Hope you guys liked it. How'd you like it? It was good. Nice yeah. Burn? yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes? Not yeah. bad. I like it. <laughs> All right, guys. This workout is complete. See you next time. Thank you. Bye. Woohoo. Yeah. <laughs>